Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting-edge training for the serious athlete, apecgo.com. Joining us now, the head football coach of the Nacogdoches Dragons, Bobby Reyes. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good, Brian. How are you? Doing very well. Coach Reyes and I go way back uh, to the early 80s when he was the baseball coach and on the offensive staff there uh, for uh, Coach McCarty and uh, Cheryl Womack and Bob French and all these guys. It's really good to see you back in Nacogdoches. What is it that brought you back into coaching because you had retired and got out of it? Well, actually, I had some health issues when I was at McKinney, and I'd gotten some not very good news about you know, some, my health, and, and so my wife and I just decided that since we hadn't spent any time together in the 36 or 37 years we'd been married, it might be good to spend some time together before possibly something happened, and and then I, so I decided to retire, and then of course I retired here in Nacogdoches because her family's here, my family's in Kilgore, and, and we wanted, we liked it here, we, I mean, I'd coached here for such a long time, had a lot of friends, and so came back here, and we're here two years, and then my health improved dramatically. I got good reports, and and I and in fact I got calls from the Metroplex. I had a couple of people that were interested, that wanted me to come and talk to them about jobs up there, and we explored that possibility. And then the Nacogdoches came, job came open, and I wanted to get back in a coach. And then, so I've I've always felt like that. I guess I've always felt like you could win here if you set things up right, and and I just think that. Uh, you know, I think we're on the right track. It does. It probably doesn't appear that to a lot of people, but you know, we're we're getting better every week. Even though we played really poorly offensively last week, we're you know, I, I just think that we've got an opportunity to to make an impact here and to do things right and to, to impact the kids here in Nacogdoches. Because I've always liked the kids here in Nacogdoches. Well, what was the, what kind of shape was the program in when you took over? Well, I, I think uh, I mean we've got fourteen seniors. I mean, I'll wow. tell you. I'll tell you that, uh, you know, there weren't kids in it. I think we've got about 28 or 30 kids that were not in the program, you know, when I got here the last week of January. Uh, academically, it was a, it was for athletics it, in football, it was kind of a shambles. Uh, I think the kids were not being held quite accountable. Uh, we've kind of changed that. My, my first three weeks here, we had somebody in ISS or suspended every day. We went the first six weeks this semester and had nobody in ISS and nobody suspended. So we're, I mean, we've been working hard on character issues and making, getting the kids to understand that they got to be responsible for things. And, you know, the kids have done a good job of buying into that. And, you know, so it's, it's a work in progress. And, and of course, like I say, I, I know people say, well, you know, why are they doing hiring an old retired coach? I mean, they're, they've done that once for Bill. But Bill's a good coach, Bill Harper is, and he did a good job when he was here. And, you know, I, we're going to do a good job here. We just got to be patient because we had a ways to go. I mean, we're starting – I think we're starting five, four or five sophomores on offense, so they're playing a whole bunch. We're starting uh, a freshman free safety and I think three sophomores on defense. I think we've got three senior starters right now on offense, or maybe four. They're playing quite a bit, and we've got two senior starters on defense. So I mean, we're pretty young. Yeah, you know? very young. And we're, you know, we're we're paying for the mistakes, you know. And I, you know, like last week, we were inside the ten four times and didn't score offensively. And, and you know, we fumbled a ball, took a fumble snap on the one yard line uh, that we should have scored on. We, I mean, we just, you know, we. It's not what people does to us. It's it's what we do to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, and you got to teach kids how to win, don't you? You do. You know, it, it, Nacogdoches. You know, it's been a it's been quite some time since they've established you know winning season. And I'm I'm not talking about a a five and five or a six and four. I'm talking about winning season. You know, where you're seven and three or where you're eight and two. And I mean, it's just been a while. And so when you've been losing games and you're losing games at every level you know there, there's not a lot of confidence and and so you know the things that we've got to do is we got to try to instill confidence in our kids that hey we can win and that if we learn to do things right you know we're going to have the opportunity to to win a ball game and really the last three weeks i mean the score last week you know everybody says well they got blown out 28 7 well it's not true i mean through three quarters it was 13 to 7 and like I say, we we should have scored twice in the third quarter, and we just didn't get it in. And 
And then in the fourth quarter, we threw a couple of picks that cost us, you know, points. But we've been in the last three ball games. I mean, and we should have had an opportunity to win the last three ball games, and we just hadn't found a way to do it. And that's that's part of learning, and that's part of I think where the off season will help us next year, this coming year. And the fact too that we just didn't have many kids back that had any experience, and that's a that's a tough go. And you know, up to this point, I mean, we played seven ball games and. Honestly, I think we played six and possibly seven playoff teams. I mean, yeah. everybody we played is going to be in the playoffs, with maybe the exception of Pine Tree, and I don't think you can count them out in that district that they're in. So, how do you keep your kids positive when they've gone through zero and seven, and and you've seen them? You know, they they have improved over the last three weeks, but they you know continue to kind of shoot themselves in yeah. the foot. Well, you know, you just you just keep telling them that things are going to get better, and that we're getting. You show them on film where we've improved in areas. And you show them on film where we're still making mistakes that are costing us ball games. But the one thing that I'll say about the kids here is they're resilient, and you know they've been—I mean, they've been showing up for Saturday morning practice. You know, we come in and we lift and we run and we watch film. They've been—they've been showing up every day for practice in the afternoons, and I mean, they're still coming, and and so we haven't lost them, and and they're still working. You know, so I mean that's a tribute to them. You know, they're they're staying after it, and. You know our uh, our JVs winning some winning more than they're losing, and our freshmen are are hanging in there, even though we took their very best athlete and put him on the varsity. And our seventh and eighth grade teams are winning. So I mean, you know, we're we're just trying to put things in place, you know, to give us an opportunity to compete every year, and that's what we want to do. We want to be competitive. We don't want people to mark on their schedule and say, okay. There's another win because we're playing Nacogdoches. Well, mm-hmm. We're, we're going to get beyond that. All right, so this week you take on an undefeated White House team at White House. So talk a little bit about the challenge that you have there. Well, I mean, we're 0-7, and they're 7-0. and I'm sure they're looking at it as, a, <laughs> as kind of an off week. You know, so, uh, I mean, you know, we're a, we're not real good right now football team, and they're a real good football team that's on a roll. I know uh, – he didn't think they played very good last week offensively against Jacksonville, and they gave up 35 points. But Jacksonville's going to put points on the board because of those wide receivers they have. Sure. So, you know, we've got a challenge in front of us, but we're not going into it thinking that we're just going to go over there and they're just going to roll us up. I mean, we're, we're planning on going over there and making it tough for them to beat us, and we're going to play hard, and we're going to see where it goes. So, I mean, you know, it's a – it's a challenge because they got a really good football team. They throw the ball really well, you know, and they're, they've been playing solid defensively. So we know we got a full challenge ahead of us, but we're going to go out there and play and make them have to play. We're not going to show up and just give it to them, so we're going to make them have to play, and that's what our that's what our intent is. Good deal. Well, Coach, I know you've had a lot of success everywhere you've gone, and uh, I know that if they give you the time, you'll get it going at Nacogdoches as well, and we're really looking forward to seeing you Friday night. Well, I appreciate it. Coach, good talking to you. Best of luck this week, and uh, we'll get back with you later on down the line. Coach Bobby Reyes from the Nacogdoches Dragons on Brian Houston Sports Radio Live on 99.3 Talk FM.